Hello, everyone. My name is Ash Musa, and I'm a product marketer on the Bitbucket Cloud team. Welcome to Team 22, and thank you for attending this presentation. This presentation is for Bitbucket Cloud customers, as well as Bitbucket server and data center customers who are considering migrating to Bitbucket Cloud. We've launched some really great features in the last year and have a packed roadmap ahead. In this presentation, I'm going to walk you through what's new and some of the key features from our upcoming roadmap. Let's start by reviewing the agenda. We'll start with some context on where we are today, our product pillars, and how we built our roadmap. Then we'll walk through features around migration tooling and the core product and how we are building for scale and compliance. Then we'll wrap up with some resources and a quick recap. To start with some context on where we are and how we got to our current roadmap, since Atlassian announced the end of life of our server product, we've seen increasing demand from customers wanting to move their code to the cloud. We started hearing feedback from larger enterprise teams and features that they needed in order to migrate to the cloud. Based on all this feedback, we prioritized feature requests and built a roadmap that benefits both existing and migrating enterprise customers. Since last year, we've been heads down focusing on executing on features geared towards solving the needs of enterprise teams. Our roadmap focuses around three pillars. The first is migration tooling. Migrating from one tool to another is hard. So we built an app to help you scalably migrate thousands of repos and users from Bitbucket Server to Bitbucket Cloud. Next is the core product. This pillar includes features and integrations that enable robust workflows in the cloud. Some of the features we'll walk through today are self-hosted runners in Bitbucket pipelines, our native sneak integration, and more. And finally, scale and compliance. This pillar includes features that enable enterprise teams to manage their code at scale in the cloud. We'll talk about what we've done to improve performance, security, and reliability of Bitbucket Cloud and some new features in this space. There's a lot to cover, so I'm going to include some links at the end that you can use to learn more after the presentation. On migration tooling, we launched the Bitbucket Cloud Migration Assistant in November last year. It's an Atlassian supported app that automates the process of moving repos, users, pull requests, and comments from server to cloud. You have to download the app, install it on your server instance, and follow the process. Based on feedback from the initial release, we released an update a few weeks ago to increase the repo size limit from 4 gigs to 10 gigs. Even the 10 gigs is a soft limit that is in place to prevent abuse. For teams who have repos larger than 10 gigs, you will, you will be prompted to contact support to request higher limits. The next iteration of this app is launching in a few weeks and will enable data center customers to be able to migrate to cloud using the app as well. Since we launched the tool in November, we've already seen over 50,000 repos migrated from server to cloud using the app. Next, let's, let's talk about what we're doing in the core product to enable flexible and powerful workflows in the cloud. Let's start with CI CD via Bitbucket pipelines. Now, you've always been able to execute CI CD workflows via Bitbucket pipelines using Atlassian's infrastructure. This is the easiest way to use Bitbucket pipelines because you don't need to host or manage any servers. But in some situations, you need more control of your hardware, software, and the environment your builds are executed into. You may need builds to access internal systems that are behind the firewall or configure your hardware with more memory to run complex builds. With our recently launched self-hosted runners feature, you can register your own runner and point your builds to run on those machines. This means you can manage all your pipelines in Bitbucket Cloud while having the flexibility to run builds on your own servers or private cloud. We initially launched runners for Linux systems. Support for Windows runners is currently in beta and Mac OS runners is targeted to launch later this quarter. By the time you view this presentation, these may have already shipped. So keep an eye on the Bitbucket blog for any launch announcements. For a demo on how to use self-hosted runners, watch the demo titled Secure Deployments with Self-Hosted Runners, presented by Justin Thomas, who is the product manager for Bitbucket Pipelines. Now, how do we scale and manage runners across teams and projects? We're launching a feature to enable admins to provision runners via our config file. This means no more manually registering each runner via the UI. And the new auto-scaling feature coming this quarter will allow you to set rules that automatically scale runners in a Kubernetes cluster based on usage. This means that once you set your scaling rules, you don't need to constantly manage your runners. 
plus there are cost savings because you're only using as much compute power as you need. Another feature we're introducing in Bitbucket pipelines is the ability to configure multi-step deployments. So currently, when a deployment consists of multiple actions, such as building the image, deploying the container, and running tests against the deployment, you'd have to put all of them into a single pipeline step. But if the tests failed, you'd have to rerun the entire step all over again. With multi-step deployments, you can split the deployment across multiple steps. Building the image, deploying, and testing are separate steps. This will provide better visibility into the deployment process and enable you to rerun the failed step versus rerunning e the entire de deployment each time. And you can reuse steps across multiple deployments. This has been one of our most requested CI CD features and is on our roadmap for this quarter. Next, let's move on to code security. Integrating security into your workflow is becoming increasingly important as teams adopt DevOps processes. To enable developers to easily integrate security into their workflow, we recently introduced an out-of-the-box integration with Sneak via the security tab in Bitbucket Cloud. Sneak is the market leader in developer security. This means that your code is always going to be scanned against the most up-to-date vulnerability database in the market. With each push, Sneak will automatically scan your code and alert you on security vulnerabilities in your code with information on how you can resolve them. Fixing security issues before you ship means fewer incidents, less workload on incident teams, and of course, happier customers. Note that if you're already using another security tool such as Sonar Cloud or Bridge Crew, you can integrate those as well. We've made it easy to get started with Sneak. However, you can use the tool that works best for your team. Moving on to scale and compliance. We've made huge strides in security, performance, and reliability when we recently migrated Bitbucket Cloud to Atlassian's cloud platform hosted on AWS. With this move, Bitbucket Cloud is now on the same platform as Geo Software Cloud, Confluence Cloud, and Geo Service Management. Since the migration, our web response times across our core capabilities are now on average 55% faster versus before the migration. Our infrastructure has never been more resilient and scalable. After the migration, we saw a 93% drop in reliability-related support tickets. On the security front, running on a Atlassian's cloud platform means that we are now part of platform-wide practices like regular security scans, data backups, and more. On the compliance front, all code is now encrypted at rest and in transit. Next, we're launching audit logs later this quarter. In the event of a data breach, this enables admins to investigate what data was compromised. Admins can trace critical Bitbucket user activity, including who, when, and what actions were performed. IT security teams will be able to import logs into a third-party tool like Splunk or Datadog for further monitoring and analysis. Workspace admins will be able to search through events to track down changes in settings or permissions that affect compliance, including who made them and when. Next, we've been working together with the Bitbucket data center team to introduce a storage engine, which will provide superior performance and scalability, as well as lay the foundation for data residency and bring your own key encryption. We're in early stages of these, so expect to hear more updates on these next year. Next, let's move on to project level settings. Currently, each repo is managed by the repo admin and has different settings. For example, if you want a set of developers to review all code within a project, you would need to set them as default reviewers for each repo under that project. This gets cumbersome if you have many repos under a project and new ones are constantly being added. With project level settings, you can set default reviewers once and it'll carry through across all repos in that project. The first release of project settings went live a few weeks ago. This release allows you to set default, re default reviewers access keys, branching models, and merge strategies across all repos within a project. To allow for simpler administration of large projects, we plan to continue adding more settings at the project level, most notably branch restrictions and merge checks. The next release later this year will allow admins to set project level permissions so you can grant access to all repos within a project at once versus manually granting access to each repo in that project. Looking out to 2023, we are more deeply integrating Bitbucket with the rest of the Atlassian platform. The first is shared user management, 
customers will be able to manage Bitbucket users and groups along with Jira and other products via Atlassian Admin and connect to external directories via Atlassian Access. We are also simplifying procurement. Currently, Bitbucket Cloud has a separate billing system than other Atlassian products. To simplify enterprise procurement processes, Bitbucket Cloud will be integrated with Atlassian's new billing platform, which means you can combine billing for all your Atlassian products. We've covered a lot. I'd like to wrap up by sharing some resources that you can use to learn more. Below in the resource links section, you'll see a few links. The first link points to migration resources and the migration app. You'll also see a migration app demo on that page. The next is a demo of Bitbucket Cloud with Atlassian Open DevOps. We announced our Open DevOps solution at Team last year. Open DevOps is a Jira software project that comes pre-configured with Bitbucket, Confluence, and OpsGenie. It enables teams to build a flexible DevOps stack with tools across security, testing, and monitoring. Bitbucket Cloud is tightly integrated with Jira's code tab and the deployment tab. This demo shows you how to integrate Bitbucket in Jira, so product managers and stakeholders are always in the loop on which features are being worked on, which ones have been shipped, and which ones are blocked. The next link points to a page with Sneak tutorials, which shows you how to get started with Sneak via Bitbucket, as well as the rest of the Atlassian tools. And there's a link to the roadmap that you can follow along as we add new features. Let's end with a quick recap. In 2021, we completed our migration to Atlassian Cloud Platform on AWS to improve performance and reliability. We launched self-hosted runners to enable flexible workflows and built out native sneak integration to enable teams to seamlessly ship secure code. In 2022, so far, we've launched project level settings and recently completed a project to encrypt all data at rest. Coming soon, we have Windows and Mac runners, audit logs, and multi-step deployments. Next year, we slated platform integrations as one of our top priorities. We will also be adding more to next year's roadmap as we get closer. So make sure you review our roadmap updates each quarter on the public roadmap. Thank you all for listening and enjoy the rest of Team 22. If you have questions, please reach out to the Bitbucket team on community at the link provided. Or if you're attending a team in person, come by the booth and chat with us. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.